Hello, everybody. Hi. Whew. I don't know about you, but it is hot here in New York. I am a hot mess. Hi, Helen and Hemlock Lady. I try to find myself. <laughs> that kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? Okay. There we go. Okay. Hi, Stephanie and Nathan. Nate and uh, Lori. There we go. Okay. Hi, Stephanie and Nathan. Nate and Joanne. Sorry, guys. I am a hot mess and out of breath. And blech. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hi, Corey. Oh, oh I'm going to turn. It was so funny. Everything's going faster. Whew. Well, I don't know about you, but it is super hot here up in New York. And unfortunately, our air conditioning broke. We're just waiting for the people to come fix it. So, give everybody a couple of minutes to get in. Oh, I wonder if I. Let's see. Pretty strange. There we go. Okay. I'll give it another minute or two. Yes, happy Monday. <laughs> so is it really warm and sticky uh, where you guys live? Or am I the lucky one? <laughs> and um, going through some of my stuff, uh, Vinny's going to actually make an appearance in my live sale today. <laughs> So Vinny's here, and he's going to make an appearance in the live sale, too. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yep, the East Coast is definitely hot. Oh, not too hot. I'll go. Let's go to New Hampshire. That's only a couple states over for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, well, let's go over the rules, and then we can get started. Um, this is a live sale, and what I do is um, tell you, show you the item, tell you the price and the number, and then that's true. Yeah, we have fans and stuff. So, but I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off, laugh, trying to get this stuff finished. <laughs> so, I, yeah, we have a, actually a portable air conditioner in the kitchen, and so, and I'm in a different spot back in. So, um, but thank you. So we uh, have the number, and I'm a little off kilter, so I might take a little while showing you the numbers I didn't get a chance to write down all the numbers so on the stickers or whatever okay so let's get started and then you will oh I almost forgot I have my little banner there we go and scrolling across the bottom is my email reclaim treasures by Mary at gmail.com and what you'll do is after the sale you will uh, send me your information if you can remember what you got um, and your uh, your name that your regular name, not the one on Facebook or on Facebook on YouTube, and uh, your mailing address and your PayPal address and all mail or all that stuff to Reclaim Treasures by Mary. Hello, I have a few friends that are going to help. Corey, the thrifted artist, has been so awesome to help me again keep track. And um, Stephanie from 
uh, thrifting adventures that you would um, keep tra help to, you know, and just want to welcome everybody. And, um, well, let's get started. So, all right. So the first thing that I have is, um, yep, <laughs> okay, let's go through what we have first. All right, so I found some more of these the cute little uh, tin, the tart tins. I found out more down in my cheese trailer, which I'm going to hopefully be working on that pretty soon. Sorry, guys. I got it. There we go. <laughs> so we have some interesting shapes. More of a, um, oblong shape this one this one is made in france so this one is a little heavier so we have france and sweden very international <laughs> and i found a couple of other containers over the weekend and i think they said they're egg cups but i thought that they would be really nice there's four of those so four of the egg cups and the little tins, and that's good. they're going to be seven dollars for the lot. That and it's number no, yes, yeah, seven dollars or oh goodness, <laughs> number six for seven dollars. Seven dollars for number six. Whew, I think my mind, my brain has melt, officially melted. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, so let's put that over there. So I might have some sort of some. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have this very beautiful plate. It is made in bulgaria it's blue and brown very uh boho looking i guess you could say and can't quite read the the imp that's an imprint but it does say made in bulgaria and um that's not a chip or anything that's the, the light above me. but it's very very nice plate and that is uh, eight dollars for the plate and it's number three number three for eight dollars for the nice plate well it's sort of a um uh, it's more of a plate it's a kind of a shallow it could be a shallow dish but Oh, yeah, it does kind of look like an eyeball. Ooh. <laughs> and, okay. There's one other thing I want to show you. Oh, good. My items are sticking together. <laughs> Oof. The ones that I did get to do, they're sticking together. This next thing is a charger. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. How could I forget? Everybody say happy birthday to Corey. It's Corey's birthday. All right. This big puppy here. This is a white charger. Or it could be a plate, but that's a lot of food. And if you look, it has almost this rope effect on it. It, it is made in Italy the bottom made in Italy but it's beautiful and I thought it would go it has crazing on it because it's an older it is an older plate okay. and then it looks so nice together with this dish but this is number two number two 
and it is ten dollars. Oh goodness, I see my brain is melted. Ten dollars for number two. Yep, my brain has officially melted. <laughs> And if anyone likes those, um, I do have more of those upstairs. I just brought down the ones that I got. Okay. So I was able to, over the weekend, find some uh, corningware, the, the blue flower corningware. This particular one has a lid. comes with it. And it is the one-quart dish. It's pretty good though. Um, I think it has been used, so you might want to. Uh, you could use the barkeeper's friend on the inside, but it's not too bad. That here is seven dollars. Seven dollars for number nine. Seven dollars for number nine. Okay, I'm going to bring out a little friend here that he wants to let go. <laughs> All right, this little guy, he's a little owl. And it's really neat. It's carved, it's a little carved owl. I don't know the mark at the bottom. But the owl his his head comes off his head comes off and i think he's just hold something if you saw the um the holes in his head i think it's supposed to be a necklace but it didn't come with the necklace part so it spears off it has the little top i thought it was really cool and this is um, just three dollars, three dollars for the little owl, and it's number five. Number five for three dollars. Oh, it could be a potpourri holder. I'm not sure. It just has the holes go all the way through, so I'm thinking it would be for a, a necklace, but it could be for just about anything. <laughs> So I'm actually going to do the other piece of corning where I have because it's sitting on my lap. <clears throat> this is the same. It's the same corning ware. It is a 10 inch or 10 inch dish. And um, it does not come with the top. And it's a little rougher on the inside. I don't know if you can tell the, the black marks. So I was not going to charge as much for that one. It's um, as I normally would. It's eight dollars. Oh, sorry. I know how that can be. Eight dollars for number four. Eight dollars for number four. And both of these Pyrex could definitely um, hold a lot of cheese. <laughs> or maybe make a casserole or a, um, what was the other thing? For Tata, <laughs> I don't know. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> All right. So, I have a couple of interesting things that actually I'm um, selling for uh, my pastor's wife. They moved to a beautiful farmhouse, and they've been finding all sorts of nice things in their. Um, garage so this one is really awesome first one i'll show you it's actually a clorox bottle and it says usa patent and it's so cool clorox and it's a brown clorox bottle 
basically even the top, even this part here says Clorox. So I'm asking $9 for that. $9 for number 10. $9 for number 10 for the really awesome Clorox brown amber bottle. And going through some stuff upstairs, I found some things that I wanted to try to sell. Ooh, a taco casserole. That sounds good. We actually, we had sloppy joes for dinner. That was good. I'm sorry, my hair is a mess. Okay, now, this is a candle wick pillow kit. And it's from 1983, and it's never been opened. I don't know if anyone knows how to do those kind of stitches. But it comes with all the stuff and the instructions. Oops, I'm still going the wrong direction. <laughs> so that is $3 for that, and it's number 27. Number 27. Three dollars for the candle wick pillow kit. Okay. Trying to get these things that I did already moved out of the way. Hopefully, I won't. Was a tumble. <laughs> yeah, I I like tacos. We'll have it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday, right? <laughs> okay, so I found these really interesting glasses uh, a while back. I think I don't know if it was the Salvation Army or the Goodwill. I can't remember. So what I'll do is actually I'll show you all the colors. I looked them up. I never have never seen them before. They are where's this? Okay. They say F A T H. Oh. Oops. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's hard to see, right? <laughs> right there. It says F A T H. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, we've got the red one. And we've got a blue one. And we've got, like, a clear one. And we have a green one. So, even if, you know, you do, you could set a couple of them out for 4th of July. And you have your... Christmas colors, all sorts of things. So you get all four of those for seven dollars. Break them. Oh, and they have the gold rim around the top, and a very pretty design too. Okay, all four of those, seven dollars. Seven dollars, number thirteen. Number thirteen for seven dollars. And if we only had five, we could you could have a drink each day of the week. <laughs> or if you have a favorite color, you could use it, you know, a second time. <laughs> okay, let's pull those over there. Oh goodness. I'm gonna drop everything here. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of drinking, I'm gonna bring out another bottle that my that um, she found and this is really cool it's another brown bottle now I've cleaned the outside but I left the top on I didn't try to take it off because it is very rusty and so the inside of the bottle looks clean from here but I don't know so it must have had maybe a paper label because that's not there anymore 
And then on this side, it says um, federal, federal law forbidden, no, forbids, forbids sale or re, reuse of this bottle. Oops, going to be in trouble. <laughs> and then there's a person with wheat on there. So I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> yes, I think I'm, I think the statue of, uh, no, that's not what I want to say. I think the time frame I can okay to sell it. I don't think anybody's going to come and get me. <laughs> and then it has marks on the bottom. So, all in this, the whiskey flask, it is $10, $10 for number 11. For the, the whiskey flask. Yeah, I was gonna say statue of limitations, but I, I that kind of sounded wrong after it came out. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know about that. So I think that they would be um, okay with that. <laughs> All right. So here's something else that you could. Well, I'm pretty sure it's originally a gravy boat, but you could also put your um, warm cheese in it, I guess. <laughs> and we have ourselves a metal gravy boat. It is uh, sterling or um, oh, stainless steel, sorry, stainless steel. So you could put all sorts of goodies in here. You could put cheese or grapes and cheese around here <laughs> or whatever you would like to use it for. This is five dollars. Five dollars for number seven. Number seven for five dollars. There we go. Oops. Ugh. All right. Oh, for ice cream? Yes, I, that could definitely be a nice ice cream sundae dish. I'd like that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Now, I did show this in my, one of my little preview pictures on uh, Instagram. Definitely check out Instagram. because a lot of the other thrifters um, that are here tonight. Um, they have shows coming up. And I think the next two shows, if I'm correct, are uh, Corey, the Thrifted Artist, tomorrow afternoon. And Stephanie Thrifting Adventures tomorrow night. So, and we all like the uh, the little nesting, no, the Russian nesting dolls. Well, this is a unique one that I found, and it is actually. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh oh, I'm going. I'm so on to TikTok that every time I say, "Wait a minute," ah. <sighs> Oh, squeaky. So, this looks like a little house or a little. No, it doesn't because you can't see it. <laughs> so, it's a little wooden like house. And you take it apart and you have Papa Bear and his little tie. And then we have. So, you've got to make sure Mama Bear is going the right direction. Okay, so we have Mama Bear in her little apron. Oh, sorry about this weekend. And then we've got Goldilocks. And it's pretty, it's really decent shape. There's a couple of little paint missing, like right there, but for the most part, it's not bad. And then we have little baby bear. <laughs> so, and then it all goes back together. Mama bear. Oh. Whoops, wait a minute. <laughs> Not paying attention to what I'm doing, and I'm putting them all back in the wrong order.
Okay, and it closes right up there, and then you can usually be able to match up the, I think. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there's the front door. So that is uh, $8 for that nesting set, and it's number one. $8 for number one. Cute little set. And it says that it is made, well, it says made in China, designer nesting dolls. And there's something at the bottom, but the sticker is missing. So I don't know what it exactly says. But it's a cute little set. <coughs> All right. Okay. So let's go. We have another um, very cool uh, glass that my that she found. This is a blue glass, and it actually says it says Emerson Drug Co. and it's Bromo Seltzer. So I guess Bromo Seltzer had to do with um, for your stomach and stuff. It's nice. I cleaned it. It's um, Looks like it had some sort of top and um, just has a little M mark on the bottom. And I'm asking $5 for this, $5 for number 12. Number 12, $5 for the Bro, Bro, or no, <laughs> Bro, the Bro Mo Seltzer. Okay. All right. Well, Vinny, we'll make sure that we welcome you with open arms when you're able to do one, because I know it's got to be hard doing them, and then. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Okay. But then we know you'll be able to uh, stock up on some really good stuff when you can do a show for us. Okay, so I got another very cute little guy here that I found. The best kind of shopping, upstairs in your storage spot. <laughs> so this is our little guy here. It is a squirrel in a bathtub. <laughs> the funny thing about it is it's a salt and pepper shaker. So the uh, that's the one, and then his. Um, I don't know if that. I don't know if that's the salt or the pepper, but <laughs> so you get salt from the squirrel's brain <laughs> and the pepper from the bathtub. It is made in Japan. It's probably a little bit newer. It has the plastic stopper, and I am butterfingers today. Okay. Yes. Yes, it's made in Japan. Right. There we go. And this cute little set goes together. <laughs> and that is $5. $5 for Mr. Squirrel in his bathtub. And it's number 14. Oh, I know, right? I just... What are fingers today? <laughs> Five dollars for number fourteen, our little squirrel friend. I did pretty good there. <laughs> Get some of these out of here. So I have some jewelry, and I'll start out with, I have these brooches here, and I'll show you all the brooches, but they're coming as a set because I'm not sure they would be more, the one might be for wearing, but the other ones are more maybe crafting because they're missing some of their little stones. So there's this one first. 
I'm getting. This is a cute little bell with a bow. But if you can see the uh, it's a tree and a bell. <laughs> but there are some stones missing. There's that one. And then this is an older one and um it if you look in the middle it's got some stones missing in there. And this one is pretty. It has almost like, I don't think the pearls are real. Um, but then this one has some stones missing too. And then this one I think could probably be worn. Um, it has a pearl. could be worn any direction, actually. Oh, geez. <laughs> Where's Andrew when you need him, right? <laughs> So, all four of those are going to be $5. $5 for number 21. <laughs> number 21 for $5. All right, all those. Okay. So, put these back in there. So I have some other things that I found upstairs searching. I found this this set. Well, I don't know if it came together, but it's going to sell together. It's these embroidery hoops. And, you know, there are some of the basic ones. Made in Taiwan. We have the big one here. I was trying to see if I could find a size, but I'm not an embroiderer. So <laughs> there's the one. Then we have a second one where you could decorate with them. But then here's the one that was really cool. This one is plastic. And it says New Berlin Plastic Inc. Uh, Wisconsin, I think, four, four by five and a half inches. And it's oval. So it just pops out like that. All right. This way, that way. So you get all three of these. You get all three of these for four dollars. And it's number hang on. <laughs> oh, number twenty for four dollars. It can be a little nerve wracking on my vintage, but if you've ever had to do like a Zoom call or anything like that, you know, practice that way with a friend. That's, you know, I do the, I do them every day for work now, so I'm kind of getting used to talking to the camera. <laughs> so, and I haven't edited either, so I'm still learning. I'd want to figure out how to put the words on top. I've not done that yet. <clears throat> All right, so our turtle friend has made a reappearance. He did not find his forever home yet. He's got a cute little turtle with the black eyes. All right, well, his one eye is a little less black. But, and he is, I don't, I should know my stones. I love collecting stones, but I don't. <laughs> That's five dollars for Mr. Turtle, and he is number twenty-four. Twenty-four for five dollars for the little turtle. All right, should we? Does um, Vinny want to make an appearance? Oh, you ready to make your debut, Vinny? <laughs> Look what I found. <sighs> I when I the first thing I thought. Look at that. <laughs> it's Donnie and Marie, the top secret project. <laughs> 
the little golden book. Let's see. <laughs> 1977. I don't even think Vinny was alive in 77. <sighs> it has a little bit of wear to it, but. So, let's see. Who would like their own book with vintage Vinny on it? <laughs> it's only $3 for number 22. Number 22 for $3. And you can have your own Vintage Vinny in your house. <laughs> oh, poor Vinny. Sorry. Well, there we go. <laughs> I know. We're, we don't have Laura. and uh, Who else are we missing? Uh, Miss D, she probably would have got a kick out of that. <laughs> well, I'm on a different night. That's Maybe that's why. Because um, I wanted to spend the time with my hubby for Father's Day. All right, let's do. I have another piece. I have like maybe two more pieces of jewelry. Now this, I would say it, it's more for <laughs> be more for a dress-up kind, and one of these doesn't um, close right. But it is like a fake pearl necklace, and somewhat you can you, you like you pop it out, <laughs> so it pops in and out. And then this one doesn't quite stay in there, so you could probably hot glue it in there or something. So there's two of those. Whoops. Two of these. And uh, actually, I'm asking $3. $3. And it's number 19. Number 19. So $3 for number 19. Then somebody could have some nice dress ups. Yes, or crafting. You're right. Yep, could be good for crafting. Yeah, definitely. You definitely know they're not real. All right. So, there's that one. All right. All right. Now, I have a set of these bowls, but I also have... Um, I have another set. So these bowls here are, are square bowls. They are from Japan. Or, um, yes. Gumps, I think. G-U-M-P-S, Japan. And they have little flowers and birds on them. Okay. And this set, there are two of them. And the set is $4 for the set, number 18. Number 18 for the set. So you can have your cheese and your crackers, <laughs> chips and salsa. Um, well, no, if they're Japanese, well, we have to have rice and something. Maybe not. Oh, goodness gracious. Me and these dishes are not so Woo. Okay, so that's those. Let me do. I have just two more pieces of jewelry and or planters. Yes, that's true. Um. I have two more pieces of jewelry, and I do not want to do what I want. Oh, goodness. I thought the tape was a good idea, but I'm reconsidering that. <laughs> All right. Ah. It's going to have to. Ah. Oh, my goodness. 
Okay, well, this is a very long necklace. It's another pearl-like necklace because I really don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, well, while I'm trying to disassemble the piece of tape here, this is ridiculous. I, um... Oh, hi, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. I am just this tape. Oh, my goodness. Yee. Well, if you guys check out my um, <laughs> my Instagram, I posted a picture there the other day about it. It looks it's a garden and it has all sorts of pretty things. But I want it inside my trailer. And I don't know what it's called because I keep trying to look up stuff. I don't even think it has a name. But I've heard like New England Garden and different stuff. And so if you check it out, leave a message. See, see what you think. All right. So this pearl necklace, is, well, I'm not even sure. I don't know how to test them. But it's very long. Okay. And it had tape on it. And it was like ridiculous. <laughs> so you could do it this way. Okay. This necklace is $7, and it's number 23. So number 23 for this, uh, and $7 for this beautiful necklace. All right, so let's final, final out the um, jewelry category here. Oh, that came out very nicely compared to the other one. Whew. All right, so this is a two necklace set. I don't see anything about it saying that it's real um, diamonds or, or gold or anything, so I'm thinking it's the cubic zirconia. It, it's a very pretty um, diamond type shape. And <clears throat> it's a, here's another pearl type necklace. And, but then it has, like, it's woven with these gold uh, type design. <laughs> so, like that. And then I thought that they would be beautiful together, if you like that, or separate. And I'm asking $10 for the set. $10 for number 16. Number 16 for $10. Okay. Yes, I think it would look nice layered together. All right. And I have next, I have a basket that you could put all your goodies in. <laughs> it reminds me of those little trivets. <clears throat> it has that kind of design, that woven design. And it doesn't tell you where it's from. It, but I just thought it was kind of cool. And it does remind you of those those trivets that you put down. Or maybe it's a trivet or pot. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but I'm asking $3 for that basket. And it's number 28. Number 28 for $3. <clears throat> All right. We are moving right along. Oh, yes, definitely boho. Look, I like that. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking. My phone's down here. and so. <laughs> All right. No, oh, I didn't either, M Michelle at Mermaid Cove. I didn't know you had a channel. Oh, I have to check that out. That would be cool. Okay, so I found this tin. It's our, our friend there, Santa Claus, the Coca-Cola Santa Claus. And it had it just says, good boys gir and girls, happy holidays. And it goes all the way around saying that. And, of course, he's got his bottle of Coke there. And he's sitting near his list, having a little pre-Christmas soda. 
gosh, I'm trying to get it open. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so this has that plaid look on the sides, and it is a little rusty. It's plaid. The inside looks pretty good. And the back, nothing on the back. And it just says the Coca-Cola brand tin, but it doesn't give a year. So They're made in the USA. So we've got Santa tin here. He is $5, and he's number 15. Number 15, $5. Oh, hi, Misty. I'm not sure if anybody bought it, but you missed Vinny. Vinny came on. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, I'm like, oh, my goodness. We got Donnie and Marie. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. I'm just breaking the world over here. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I know I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So let get these back in here. And we will hop up a little bit over here to some of our other things. And I found this really interesting thing um, in a set of stuff that was my grandmother's. It says, um, well, I can't read. It says products, Better Homes and Gardens, a yarn caddy from Arizona. And so this is a yarn caddy from and it's Arizona, and it's sort of a heart shape. I thought that was pretty cool. And that is uh, number 53, 53 for $4. So number 53 for the yarn caddy. Or you could use it for, or maybe you could use it for scarves or jewelry or necklaces, whatever you want. You could turn it around. It's blank on the back. So whatever you'd like. Okay, so this is number 53 for $4. All Oh, we have a very beautiful oh, teapot here. Okay, it is very beautiful. It's brown, blue, green, yellow colors. It's a butterfly and flowers, and it says Earthenware Lang, L A N G, Simple Life, featuring the artwork of Carol Hillard. Crouch, and it's 2000, year 2000. It's not recommended for the dishwasher or the microwave. And so, I'll show you the bottom. Okay, it has very nice design. And then the top comes off, and it's really nice inside. Okay. That is. Okay, so the teapot is nine dollars. Nine dollars for number seventeen. So number seventeen for nine dollars. This super cute little um, ooh, cheese and pesto. That sounds good. There we go. Ooh. Just checking my list, my Santa list here. <laughs> oh, hi, Carol from 
uh, Bless Ness, welcome. She's got a great channel too, yes. I've seen a lot of hers. <laughs> and Rachel from Superior Girl Vintage. Okay. All right. Ugh. So I have another set of the <clears throat> the Japanese dishes, but this time I have a set of four, and they're the same Japanese dishes as before. Very beautiful. They could be dishes or planters or whatever you'd like. There's four of those for $10, $10 for number 25, the 25 for 10. Oh, I know it says 12, but I, I meant 10, so sorry about that. but they are $10 for the set of four. Okay. All, right. All right, so I'm bringing back something that I had before. This was a, the yellow juice container. It has the plastic top, very 1970s. And it doesn't have them very many. Ooh! Oh, things at the bottom. Oh, boy. Hi. Somebody came in. That was the, the welcoming committee. <clears throat> so we have the good, the juice container. And that is... Five dollars for number twenty nine. Number twenty nine for five dollars. Oh, Laura's here. Oh, Laura Mendez. Hello. And Sandra. I think no oh, no, is it Mondays or Tuesdays? The one of the days. I can't remember. All right, so <clears throat> that Laura, the other Laura plays pool, I think. <laughs> All right, so now where is the other book? I have another book. What goes with it? Oh, here. Well, we'll come back to that book and we'll try a different one. All right. Anybody remember our lovely thing? We got Heidi. We have Heidi, another golden little golden book. And this one is from. 1977. Beautiful graphics. <laughs> yes, this Laura Melendez is with the big family and the lover of strawberries. <laughs> yeah, so we have Heidi, and Heidi is three dollars. Three dollars for number thirty-six. Thirty-six, number um, three dollars, number thirty-six. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have Heidi. Okay. Okay. All right. So, do we want Christmas or Halloween next? What do you think? Halloween. Okay. I only have one thing for Halloween, but that's all. Right. Or, well, actually, I have two, so I could split it into two. Or just keep it as one. All right. I have this beautiful wooden... <laughs> All right, this beautiful wooden garland, and it has the pumpkins and the cats, and the tie goes all the way around. It's pretty big. And it has the metal on each end to hang it up. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. So you got the metal ends on both sides. So it's a pretty, pretty decent size. If but the two of them got tangled. Okay. All right. So, for one, it is, let's see, I just had it. 
Where'd you go, Mr. Holly? Halloween, Halloween. I ran out of time to do the... Um, there we go. Okay, so... What I will do is... I have two of them, so I can split them up. <laughs> so, the one garlic... All right. Oh, my goodness gracious. <sighs> Let's breathe, everybody. <sighs> All right, so $4 for number 40. $4 for number 40. I have two of them. So the first, if you want them, like, you can bid on them. So $4 for number 40. There we go. Okay, so the two person, the two first people that bid, I said I saw Pam and Lori. I don't know, Corey. Did you see Pam and Lori? So if we're both correct, um, me and Corey uh, saw. I saw. Yes. Okay. So Pam got one and Lori C got the other. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay. Just trying to make some more room here. We're doing pretty good. Hey, we're not doing too bad, I don't think. As long as I don't. I've already lost my mind. Just add the pen to it, too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I think for the one time, I am not actually prepared today. Okay. So, I have... These beautiful Ojigiri like they're not actually Ojigiri because well they could be but they don't say it. Um, they're like you could have coffee or soup mugs whatever you like. They do have the speckled look and the green and um, it's muted kind of red handle. And nothing on the bottom. Felt. I'm not sure what you mean by felt, Laura. <laughs> okay. Well, these two mugs, they are beautiful, and they're $8. $8 for number 31. So 31 for $8, and you get both coffee, tea, soup, whatever you want to have in there. You can have cheese soup. <laughs> yeah. I swear I'm gonna have to glue my pen to me. <laughs> All right. So I have some more books. <laughs> Talking about writing a book, I have some books. We get these for inspiration, maybe. I have a book. It's a Hallmark 2000, or two, well, I thought it was 2000, but Farm Animals. Super cute. It just shows you all the cute farm animals. It's like a, more of a, a harder paper, the thicker paper. Let's see, you could just show you all the different cute animals. And then I have two golden books. I have the Fuzzy. The fuzzy duckling. Be cute. Be cute. And this is uh, copyright is 1973. That's a wonderful year, 73. It was the year I was born. <laughs> and then we have the pokey little puppy. 
and he's chasing the lizards and the little caterpillars. <laughs> I remember this one. And this is also 1973. So this is a good year for books. So you get all three books. All three of these books for $5. Number 33. So 33 for these five, or these, oh my goodness. Three books, $5, number 33. Whew. That's a mouthful to try to say there. Okay. All right, now these are, I have two posters. I'm going to show you one right now. I don't know much about these posters. They um, belonged to my father. And um, they are, they have construction paper behind them. And then they are wrapped in like this plastic. So it says Buffalo Bills and the Wild West. And, um, the bottom says A. Owen, H-O-E-N, and company in Baltimore. So I thought they were really interesting. And this, for, this is $8 for this poster, and it's number 35. $35, or, oh my, $35. Ah, uh, $8 for number 35. Definitely would not charge thirty. Oh my my my! All right. All right. So we have this cute little dish here. It has pink roses on it and gold and um, peach color. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom, so I'm not sure what where it's from. But it has these very beautiful roses. And a nice little handle. It has the reticulated sides here. And that is four dollars. Four dollars for number 32. I know I wish I had some strawberry things. I don't. I'm sorry. I'll try to find some for next time but I don't have the strawberry stuff. So this is uh, $4 for number 32. And I don't know where they went. That is so silly. Ah, here he is. Whoops. All right, so. I have our friends, Mickey Mouse and Peter Pan and the tiger. All right. These are both um, a tell a -tale book and 1977 for this one, Mickey Mouse and the Mouseketeers. Oh, look at that. Yes, definitely the 1970s. Wow, really? I'm getting up there. 50? Ooh. I don't know. Was I don't know if an was Annette Funicello still a mouseketeer in the 70s? I don't think so. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but definitely interesting and cool. And then we have Peter Pan and Wendy and Tinkerbell and that is, I know, I'm so happy, 1976. And this one's pretty good. I think looking really good there. All the kids, Peter Pan. and <laughs> So Peter Pan and Mickey, they are two, both of them for $4. $4 for number 30. Yes, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you. 
So number 30 for four dollars. And I'm I have the rest of this week um, for work and then hopefully I'll be making some more videos um, for hauls and my first ideas for the sheet trailer. And then definitely check out my Instagram. I have a picture um, of the kind of design I like. I like the outdoors, the birds, the um, ladybugs, you know, stuff like that. And I have a perfect picture on my Instagram. I want to try that um, for my uh, sheet trail. Okay, so I know we're hopping around here, but let's hop to, we have a cardinal. And I think somebody told me what this was the last time, but it's one of those like potpourri things at the bottom. And it has the plastic or the rubber, um, whoops. Yeah, it seems like somebody still had something in there. Whoops. <laughs> Little potpourri beads. So it has the cardinal and a little gold bird all the way around. Comes with a nice little uh, ribbon on the top. And it was, it is made in China, uh, Jas, Jasco. Okay, so this little beauty is $4. And it's number 37, 37 for this. And sorry, guys, I'm usually more prepared. I'm reading from my, my list here. See, what I do is I, oh, yeah, woohoo. <laughs> I number them and write them down and give the, oi, oi, oi. <sighs> Hopefully you weren't as, goodness. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Vinny, no. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right. We have a couple of more. I know I did books. I have a lot of books left over. <laughs> so I have this really cool um, Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island book here. And the cover is awesome. And even when you take the jacket cover, the thing itself is really awesome too. Nice spine there, so you could have, uh, <clears throat> and it has the map on the inside, so it's a really cool book. And I'm not sure if this one had the copyright here in it. Let's see. Well, I don't know. This says 1946, so if this is 1946, this is a really good. You gotta check out that graphic. So, the, yeah, I, I don't know. But whatever, it's in really good condition. And, get that back. It is been in someone's. It does have that little musty smell to it. So, let me see. It is $6. $6 for Treasure Island, and it's number 47. 47. So you can go on your own Treasure Island adventure. Or use it um, for a display. Whatever you like. <laughs> okay. Moving, moving right along. Okay. And actually, I will do this one that's right next to me. It is a pink rose dish. 
Um, I don't. It doesn't seem to have a pattern. Um, and it's you know, there's nothing a pattern. <laughs> Markings on the back. That's sticker residue. But it's very pretty. Pink and teal green there. <laughs> Could definitely hold a lot of cheese or crackers or whatever you want to eat in it. <laughs> that's four dollars. And that's number 48. 48 for four dollars. If I can get the flowers to go the right direction. There we go. So. Hi, butterfly nurse. So, 48 for four dollars. I'm trying to think of what else I have done here. Oh, great. oh, here's a dish that you guys could tell me what you think it is because I don't. It's a very beautiful um, glass bowl. It doesn't have any markings at the on the bottom, you know, like that cut glass. But it does. It's not like that cut glass that like cuts you. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that feel. It's very um, smooth. In, if that sounds right. <laughs> and then it has the top and the stem. But are you think? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's apple or a pumpkin. So I'm calling it the apple pumpkin dish. And you can put candies in it, M&Ms. That would be pretty. Put some red M&Ms in there, apple, orange ones, you know, whatever. Or green, if you like green apples. Yeah, I don't know. Ow! <laughs> We're not going to do that again. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely, Butterfly Nurse. I don't know. Is it a full moon? Because, yeah. I don't think it's crystal. <laughs> but I'm not going to hit it again. I might break something. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that little beauty, he's, or she's $6 for number 38. Number 38. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I don't know. I think maybe everybody's um, melting from the heat. I don't know. <sighs> okay, so let's go back to some more um, of the small glass or the glass. Now I'm going to combine these with one I showed before. So we have what I'm. What we think is. <laughs> uh, where's my pastor's wife and I or she was thinking that maybe it was the vanilla because that's a classic you know vanilla uh, container and it's kind of neat because it has these you can't really see it but you feel it these little bumps on the side so and um, so we have that and then we have this other one that says um Chess Bro New York um, something I don't know, I can't really read it but it's a little container and this is another amber container and they both look like they had tops so we have these two and then I'm bringing back these guys from the last time I thought they might go good together it's like that milk glass um, ponds or um, this one is the ponds and then this is the other one. I can't read the bottom. So we have these three white ones and these two brown glass ones. Okay, so all you get one, two, three, four, five. You get all those for $7. $7, number 43. 43 for $7. Okay, so we have all of those, and um, I will have some more over the next few weeks, or next few sales, because I didn't want to do them all at once. Um, I do have some more really nice ones that she has. 
Alright. Moving right along. Okay, so we had our friend here. Oh boy. There we go. Here he is. Winnie the Pooh. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> so we have Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. And we can't forget Rue up there in the corner. And then, let's see. What were they doing? This one is copyright. Um... 74. 1974. So I think they're going on a picnic. They have a bag, bag lunch. So, yeah. Little golden book. All right. So Winnie the Pooh, he is $3, and he's number 41. Winnie the Pooh, 41 for $3. <clears throat> How we're doing? Doing pretty good. Okay. All right. Everybody, take a breather. <laughs> I need a drink of water. Sorry. Okay. Every time I take a drink of water, I get my little notebook wet. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I know this looks probably like it's a little more fall light, but this is a Bavarian nut and fruit plate, and it's from Made in Bavaria, but I can't really read the small print here. It's kind of hard. It's kind of smeared. <clears throat> it's a very nice little plate. It has the, the pears or apples and the nuts, and it's $4, and it's number 46. So number 46 for $4. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, and, you know, I tell my son the same thing, and there's no really need to rush. <laughs> I know, girls can be complicated sometimes. <clears throat> All right, now, I have a couple more books. This is going to be more of a Christmas lot, and we have uh, Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, and this one was made in 74, 74. <coughs> And I'm putting the all four of these books together because of some of them. This one, um, somebody wrote on the cover. And so this is Santa's Surprise Book. Okay. And then these other two is Santa's Toy Shop. And I'm putting two because in case you want to use one for crafting, because someone wrote all over the cover of this one. Let's see. The Santa ones are 75, or um, 1975. Yep, they're both 1975. The Santa's Surprise Book is, oh, this one is 1966. So that's kind of sad that somebody wrote on that one. <clears throat> and then the Jingle Bells. So you get all... Oh, yep, and this is one that got wrote, written on, sorry, wrote, <laughs> has writing all over the back. So I, they must have gotten one and then got another one. So four Christmas books for $5, $5, number 44. 44 for $5. I don't know if anybody heard that, but that was my <laughs> computer now notify me. Oh, bye, Nate. Good to see you all the way from the other side of the world in a place I really want to go to. He lives in New Zealand. I want to go there. 
okay, and I love the scenery, but does anybody, is anybody a Xena the Warrior Princess fan? Because I think she made her stuff in her, her shows in uh, New Zealand. <laughs> okay, we're getting there, guys. All right, I'm calling this the apple bowl. It has the little apple slices. It it is it's not dirty. I know it might look like that, but it's like this brown. It's it's brown and green on the inside, and um, it has the little slices. It was made in Italy. It's very hard to see, but it says it here on the back. Made in Italy. <clears throat> and that is $4. Number 45. 45 for $4. All right. So now I have this set of cookie cutters that I'm adding to. So I have some of these cookie cutters that I got in a pack from, actually from Thrifting Adventures. So they're all like stars and such. And I'm going to add them to my animal ones from the last time. So we have the, um, well, I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Unless it's supposed to be Santa and a snowman and a, um, a cow, I think. So. I'm gonna have all of these for for four five dollars, and it's number thirty nine. So number thirty nine, and you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six six cookie cutters. They make great for decorations and other stuff. Oh, whoops! I forgot one. I knew there was another one. I think it's an apple. So they make for. We have all of those together. Number 39 for $5. Okay. <clears throat> so let's keep going. And try not to knock stuff over here. <laughs> One little second. Okay. I think. All right. I have one little thing I did, and I think I did it wrong. <clears throat> if Corey, could you tell me what I said for the number for this, the Potpourri Cardinal? Because I had another cardinal thing, and I think I said the wrong number, so. <laughs> we have a live sale full of number 37. Okay, all right. So, thank you. All right, so, that's number 37. So, this is a bell it's a cardinal bell <clears throat> shaped like a christmas tree and it is lefton from 1984. okay so this is going to be <clears throat> four dollars and it's number 42. four dollars for number 42. <clears throat> it's so funny because um, the only thing I can think of is that song from that from that play, Matchmaker, Matchmaker. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. Bye, Stacy. Yes. Have to break out in song, right? 
Yes, Fiddler on the Roof, right. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Just having a little brain bubble there. Okay, so we have ourselves a little, it's Colonial Home Homestead Plate. It's a little tiny plate here. And it looks like it has the, um, the wheel for, uh, yes, that wheel. The spinning wheel. <laughs> oh, Lordy. And Colonial Homestead. Okay, so there's just one little plate. You know, you can have your cheese on your little plate. And this plate is so cute. It's not, it's $3. $3 for number 50. So, number 50 for $3. Okay. So we are. Moving right along. I'm doing too bad. <clears throat> so we have a couple of these Fire King bowls, and unfortunately, I do not know the pattern. If anyone happens to know that pattern, that would be great. And you get, oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. I, I honestly don't know the um, pattern, but there's two Fire King bowls. Okay. And they are for the set. They're $5 for both. And it's number 57. 57 for both of these. Well, thank you for letting me know that you like the prices. Just I want it to be affordable and, and also, you know, because the shipping is can be crazy sometimes. <clears throat> so if you liked those dishes, I also have a bowl with the same pattern. I only have one, unfortunately. And this is four dollars. And it is number 58. So 58 for this bowl. Oh. And I was trying not to do that at the same time, but oh well. Yes. It can't always be <laughs> perfect on that. Okay, so. Well, I definitely just have a bunch of books today. So this one is called The Secret Seven on the Trail. Not even sure what it's about. Um, it, it might be about Boy Scouts or something. I'm not sure. kind of looks like that. Because it has these good, nice graphics. But what I really like about it is the covers. And the back covers the same way. It's super cool. And it says it's Brock. B-R-O-K Brock Books. And surprise. Yeah, it's. It reminds you of something. Maybe they are Boy Scouts or something. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't read it. I just thought it was cool. It does have a little bit of that musty smell. Um, this book is $4 and number 51. Five, one, four dollars Must have been $4. Must have been the magic price today. <laughs> so, I like that book. Oh, it's Meadow Green. Okay. Thank you. Okay, yes, I don't know all my patterns, but I did enjoy picking up that one. Okay, let's see what we have. Ah, yes. Oh, goodness. Well, hang on, guys. <laughs> well, I think... 
these are all the same pattern, and there are four of them. But one has snuck away to under the couch. So these are miso, I think, or soup, Japanese soup spoons. And it's very hard to see, but there are fish. These right here on the inside, they're fish. I don't show it. Maybe there. There we go. And they are made in um, China. They have like that little rest. There are four of them. But I. Uh, one fell under the couch, so <laughs> I'll have to get them. So these are the Japanese soup spoons. They are five dollars, and they are number sixty. So or sake, yes. Um, I thought they were for miso soup, but they could be for sake too, if you wanted. <laughs> or you could be like. Um, you know, Food Network, and you can make a one-bite meal and show it off. <laughs> but whatever you choose to use them for, <laughs> they're five dollars, and you get you do get four of them. I just can't go under the couch at the moment. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, Laura. I'll come to your, well, I don't know where you live, Laura, but I'll come to your house. <laughs> I love Chinese food. <laughs> All right, so we are doing pretty good. We're actually almost winding down. So let me, let me go back to the beginning of my list and make sure we haven't missed anything. <clears throat> and then I'm saving the best one for last. All right, all right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six more things. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Find where they went. They just seem to be wanting to get away from me here. <laughs> All right. Does anybody remember the little red caboose? Okay. The little red caboose. And this one, copyright 1953. Yes. Oh, but, nope, I was wrong. 1974. Sorry, 1974 copy. I was looking at it, I'm like, wait a minute, that back is a little too modern. So, the little red caboose for $3, and it's number 49. 49. For three bucks. <clears throat> okay. So moving right along, we have, the, it's a bird plate. I'm just calling it the bird plate. <laughs> and it is, um, oh, a scarlet tanager, tanager, sorry, I'm not good with that. From the drawings of Audubon, and it's made in Germany, and um, so it has a lot of information on the back. You can see all that, and it has a nice gold rim and the beautiful bird in the middle. Oh my goodness, I swear, I'm just done with the with the breakables today. <laughs> ah, okay, so your bird plate is, num is $4, number 52. I know, right? Oh my goodness, number 52 for our little birdie plate, which I will put down right now because, whew. All right. Mm -hmm. So, we have another book. It says, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, Regent Classics. Just a plane on the outside here. Um, this particular one, I was not able to find the year. 
but it's so it has very nice the pages are holding up pretty good for whatever year it is um of course it does have that bit of a musty smell but i really i couldn't find a year but it's um king arthur and the knights of the round table and that is going to be four dollars and it's number 55 five five Could use that to read it or whatever you'd like. Four dollars, number fifty-five. <clears throat> okay, so we have another plate, and this one was made in Poland, and it says the title is Victoria. And it's a very beautiful plate. And it has almost like lines or the textured all the way around here. And these very beautiful purple flowers. You can see those. They, there's three sets. And the plate it says Victoria and made in Poland. This plate is $5. Five dollars for number fifty-four. So fifty-four number five dollars. Okay. Just checking to make sure. Oh no, I did forget a poster. Sorry, I did forget a couple. All right, maybe we're not totally done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the next, the other poster that my father had. And this is Leifer, 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 famous because the best. And it's about um, from Syracuse, New York, and it has to do with shotguns. So if any of your gentlemen want something like that for their man cave or something. <laughs> okay. And this is. Eight dollars as well, and it's number twenty-six. Number twenty-six, eight dollars. Okay. All right. So we have that one. And okay. Well. I can't find the other thing I'm looking for, so that is okay. All right, so the last two things I have. This book, oh my, this thing is heavy. It's prose and poetry for appreciation. Very old book. I think the um, spine must have had some problems because it looks like they fixed it and then wrote on it <laughs> for the library I'm thinking it is the Amsterdam Free Library so then assuming that's the Amsterdam here in New York Amsterdam New York nice graphics on the inside <clears throat> okay let's see and Trying to find the copyright. Okay. According to this, the copyright date is 1934 or 35. 35. Okay. For this copy. But you, I think you can totally tell. I don't know if you can see it very well. But right there, that contributing editors, contributing editors. That looks so Art Deco. <clears throat> and this bad boy, I'm only asking $5 because it's heavy. It's really heavy. Now, the pages are well, you know, worn. But I'm only asking $5 because this, this puppy, you know, could hurt somebody if you, <laughs> you know, drop it on your foot or something. <laughs> Uh, and it's $5 for number 56. 
56, five dollars. All right. And we are down to the end. <clears throat> we have one more to go. And I'd like, you got to make sure, you know, limber up your fingers because this is a piece de resistance, as I say. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> are we ready? How about a little drum roll? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, the suspense, right? All right. So here we go. Here is the scale. It is green. It says American Family Scale. Not legal for use in trade. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so it has nice graphics on it. It has these beautiful um, patina and these stickers. And here's the bottom. It's all metal. And, and, you know, it does move the handle. But whew, I'm almost done, Facebook or whatever you are. Okay. It comes with this. A weighing scale, you know, way. It has these eagles, two eagles. So that's how it goes there. So you could use it with or without, or um, you could turn it around because the back does not have the eagles. So if you don't like the eagles, okay. All right. This beauty is. $25, $25, and it's number eight. Okay. $25 for number eight. And that actually will do it for tonight, guys. Look at that. We made it under the two-hour mark. We didn't get kicked off. Okay, so... Thank you for coming and staying and enjoying the time. And if you make sure that you send me your information, um, your name that's different from your um, YouTube name, your home address, and uh, your PayPal information, just to let, and then I'll get the invoice out to let you know I am in um, upstate capital region of New York. And so tomorrow we have another. Two sales. We have Corey, the thrifted artist. I don't have the paper in front of me about what time. And then tomorrow evening, we have um, Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures. And then, of course, Wednesday, we have um, Misty at, uh, yeah, Thrifter. I always get it wrong. I'm sorry. I better stop while I'm ahead. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for staying. Hope you guys stay cool and stay safe. And see you at the next sale. Bye.